it's the same potential here, 3.17 uh, megavolts, as if it's completely uniform. Uh, it's the same potential uh, over there. Let's, can you make sense out of that? What, uh, is it exactly the same? Or maybe if you'd carry it out to the third, fourth decimal, maybe it's not exactly the same. Uh, if you just think logically, which one should be bigger? If you just have a uniform rod and in the middle, it's distributed uh, evenly versus more charge over here. And then the distance here is about the same. But then here, the distance is less. So there's less charge here. It's kind of hard to argue which one's going to be stronger, right? But how about here? How about if we take, calculate the potential here? and compare it to the potential here. Which one should be stronger? Can we make that case? Uh, this one is uh, closer to this side where the charge is very weak, and farther from that side where the charge is very strong. This one is closer here, closer there. I mean, farther from there, but it's a uniform charge. So I would argue that one is easier to argue. This one should be weaker than uh, this one, corresponding one over here. So how would we change the integral for if I wanted to find the potential here? What would change? Well, it would now you would have to calculate the distance from here to here. Let's see, so I want you to be able to do it at any location, you know, at over here or in the middle. So what's this distance now? It'll be square root of, well, now it's x squared plus 5 squared, right? So we can change the integral here, uh, x squared plus 25, and then reintegrate it, change this number, but this number, we don't have to reintegrate for the charge, uh, for the Q. So let's do another Fn int on our Ti's. This time it'll be x divided by parentheses 25 plus x squared to the power 0.5 comma x comma 0 comma 10. <laughs> 6 point one eight is what I get. And now let's put it 6.18 here, 6.18 there. Six point one eight zero three three, and then everything else is still the same. So now multiply that by eighteen divided by fifty. Two point two two volts. Two point two two megavolts. Nice, huh? Isn't this great? I love it when you can predict the answer. Two point six megavolts. Okay, so all of that should uh, make sense. How about over here? Let's compare the two. Which one should be stronger on this side, if I want to find potential on this side? Okay, here is very close to here, where this is most of the charge, and then it's very far from there, where the least charge. Here, it's uniform charge, so which one should be stronger, this or this here? This one, huh, stronger. Than, uh, than this one, and then this one is stronger than that one, and then in the middle, 
The middle one, I would have to really calculate both of them to the uh, certain decimal place, see if they're exactly the same, or I can't, I, it's hard to decide which one should be bigger for the middle. OK, so let's, how would you set it up here, if the point is here? All right, so then it'll be the distance will be the distance from here, so that, what is that distance here? 10 plus uh, 5 is 15. It's the point 15, 0. So it'll be 15 minus x will be the distance, right? So uh, the integral is quite easier this time. It'll just be 15 minus x. And then over here will be 15 minus x. So it'll just be x over 50 minus x. So that you could even do that integral without the ti. x divided by 15 minus x. I should put parentheses here. Parentheses, 15 minus x, comma, x, comma, 0. Six point four seven four seven nine one eight. Again, this integral doesn't change. You see? And then you bring it here. Six point four seven nine one eight. Then multiply it by uh, eighteen divided by uh, fifty. Two point three three. Oh, it's even stronger. It's even stronger than over there. 2.33 megavolts. And then the uniform rod was 1.98, so quite stronger. So it fits the pattern. Now you see how this all works. Okay. How